what's up youtube this is rebecca the diva coming at y'all with another video but before i get into this video if you're new welcome to my channel my name is rebecca how are you doing all i'd like for you to do is smack that subscribe button hit the notification bell and select all so every time i upload that's right you'll get notified hit that share button because sharing is caring there are no secrets here on this channel okay hit that like button you guys have been doing so much better but hitting that like button so continue to hit that like button thumbs up this video it helps me out a lot and also leave a comment down in your comment section good or bad i respond to more just please be advised that if you're going to be negative i'm going to be negative back period poo all right so as you can tell um uh, and for those of you that have been rocking with your girl thank you guys so much um for rocking with me and sticking with me y'all have been amazing um my last couple of videos have done amazing and i just want to thank you guys so much diva gang but as you can tell i'm i'm, I'm trying to rush through this video because i have so much other stuff to do today and it's sunday um but as you can tell it's a reaction video yep lives life um her husband gerard i guess um he said she went out for a walk and she left her phone in the house um so he took it upon himself to go on her youtube page and record a i guess uh, an apology video you know <laughs> now this right here reminds me i don't know how many of you guys watch love and hip-hop atlanta but um kirk when kirk was cheating on rashida and he got the young lady the stripper girl pregnant or whatever have you and he um threw rashida an apology party that's what that video that he posted gerard posted on her page reminded me of it reminded me of kirk frost throwing that party for rashida because he's sorry for cheating and this that and the third now basically gerard being the man that he is and he is a man and most men or like this basically said that he never cheated or whatever he was just talking to the young lady and for those of you who are not familiar the backstory is olivia and gerard are married um they was she had separated from him last year moved from texas to florida and within that time frame he was smashing another chick and another chick supposedly i think just recently had her baby and the baby's supposed to be gerard's well, Gerard is claiming that he never slept with the girl, the baby's not his, he has no other children by this woman or any other woman. Olivia is the only woman that has that he has kids with, you know. And all I'm going to say about that particular statement is, dude, like, if you, because only people know that you do have outside kids would be you, Olivia, the girl, and God, period. But if you do have other kids and you're denying them, publicly then that's sad you know but that's all i gotta say about that um basically he said that yeah he was talking to the girl but he said every time he got with the girl only thing she wanted to do was talk about olivia which i could see that happening because in in my past okay in my past like years and years and years ago i would do that with a certain guy you know I would talk and you know only thing i want to do is talk about his ex talk about his ex talk about his ex and that kind of like scared him away so i i mean i could see that happening but my honest opinion is yeah you did probably smash that girl whether you're the father of her child or not who knows like i said that's between you and your god the only thing i want to say about gerard getting on youtube and making this video is number one well woman goes out for a walk in today's time and leaves her phone at home okay so i think that whole scenario was just a little bit staged maybe you know she probably put him up to you know getting on camera and publicly basically apologizing and professing his love what I am going to say is this. If you do love your wife the way you're saying that you love your wife. And I didn't even watch the whole video. I stopped um, half the way because I wanted to get this video done. Yeah, I got like 10 more minutes to watch, you know. 
But if you do love your wife the, the way you say you love your wife, then going on social media and professing your love for her, I feel is not the way to do it. You know, y'all too need to leave social media completely out of your marriage. And that's just what it is in a nutshell. Because anytime you bring anything to the forefront, My personal feelings is it's done just for clicks and views. You know, it's done to get that YouTube check, you know. But it is what it is. You know, I don't hate on nobody. I don't bash anybody. They do have children together and they are married. So if you can make your relationship work, make it work, you know. Yeah, Gerard needs to step up to the plate and be a man because you don't see, you know, Olivia with other dudes and outside kids and this that and the third she's despite of how she is you know on her channel she's being a woman and she's stepping up and she's being a real woman to this man and she's sticking by her man you know she's standing by her man like um perfect situation bill president bill clinton when he got caught you know getting head in the oval office or whatever his wife, Hillary Clinton, Senator Hillary Clinton, she did not leave and get divorced and all of that. She accepted what was what and she stood by her man, you know. I personally can't do it, but, you know, if you really want your marriage to work, then you do that, you know. But having your husband come on social media apologizing and fulfilling, no. You can apologize to me. And this is what I used to tell my kid's father. You can apologize to me a thousand times. You can get on your hands and knees. You can pull out all the stunts. You can, But you got to physically show me that you're truly apologetic. Actions speak louder than words. And that's all I'm going to say about this. I wish Olivia and Gerard the best. And until next time, guys. Bye.